Hey everyone, Rick here, and today is an exciting day. Why? I just picked up a pre-order from my friendly local game store, and as you know by the title and the thumbnail what this already is, as a matter of fact, I pre-ordered two of these bad boys, and I had to throw in a third. Folks, this is the Castle Barracks set. From who else but WizKids? Can you believe it? We are in a golden age of pre-painted fantasy terrain. I'm going to try not to go on and on because I was gushing at the game shop. I've been gushing online all about this. These 4D settings, this new line of pre painted dungeon terrain like are you kidding me i know there's a lot of glare in the window box here but we are going to crack one of these bad boys open show you exactly what you get because folks i have been waiting for this for so long for so long to finally have some quality well painted terrain that you can use with anything and i will get into some of the other things that they have up their sleeve in a while but first of all let's focus on this now if you know whiz kids you know they not only make fantastic board games but also pre-painted miniatures as well so in this first of all 4d settings Front, back, here is a description of everything that you get. Let's zoom out just a touch. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am for this. If you've been following my channel, you know how amazing and how enthusiastic I get over anything pre-painted. And when you know what? How long ago was it? Maybe... A month or so ago, my friendly local game store on their Facebook page shared some previews from WizKids about their upcoming 4D settings line of terrain. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on, back up, stop the car. You're telling me that WizKids is going to be pumping out pre-painted dungeon dressing terrain packs of miniatures folks you know they've been doing their deep cuts line of unpainted figures and they've always had the blind well not always but for a long time they've had the blind booster boxes and also some sets of prearranged figures but from everything i can see because not only did my game shop share it but i did some research online folks i've pre-ordered it all and now i know this video is focusing on this barracks set right here and we're going to look at that in all its glorious detail but let me tell you we are in a golden age of pre-painted terrain because what they have up their sleeve are more sets of pre-configured figures. There's a village raider set with, I can't even remember all the different things in there. I think it's goblins and trolls and whatnot. Then there's a dungeon defender set with kobolds, I think, and other things. And then there is a there's a whole set just like this coming out that's a farm. There's a whole set like this that's coming out that's a homestead. But then, even beyond all of that, there is a whole line of dungeon pieces, walls, floors. Believe me, I've that stuff doesn't even come out till next year. But oh yeah, I've pre-ordered it already. We are going so heavy into this because and that's why i got three of these i'm getting multiples of everything because number one god i want it to do well i want it to do so well i want more of this where do we even begin here so here's everything in the set laid out in one single set you get three of these bunk beds 
And again, this is the barracks set. So you can imagine a guardhouse, a barracks, a castle, a keep with these bunk beds. And the sculpts are, as always, absolutely wonderful. You can see the grain in the wood. You can see the nails where the joins were. And you have the blankets, the pillows wrinkled up. Just overall, just a nice tabletop quality paint job. And again, you get three of those. That's fantastic. There's so much going on here. I'm losing my mind. You have benches and tables. How often are you going to need these? There is a bench. There's a table in every location you'll ever go into. And you say, well, Rick... You know, can I just paint it myself? Fine. You know what? Spend your time painting. I'm going to spend my time playing because this is right out of the box. Are you kidding me? I am in love. A couple benches. So you get a table and two benches. Oh my gosh. There's so much going on here. This an archery target. Very fantastically done. Love the kind of twine or, you know, rope joining the wood together to form this target which looks fantastic we have a practice dummy so your soldiers can hone their skills you can see the straw sticking out of there we also have three of these kind of armor what do they actually call them something that just kind of holds the armor yeah just basically stands with some armor on it so you know you will have that in there as well chain mail and some heraldry and of course their helmets themselves and those three will stand on their own then you get which I absolutely adore these and the fact that they open up. You get six, that's right, six of these crates. And look at how awesome these look. You have their hinges, you have their handles, you have the lock on the front, and they are well painted, well sculpted all the way around. And then boom, oh yeah, lid comes off. Even this is the attention to detail of these sculpts, even the underside of the lid is sculpted. Is that not, and painted, is that not unbelievable? You can absolutely put some stuff in here too. Here's something we'll show in a minute, but let's just put that in there. Oh, heck yes. Just the fact that this exists blows me away. So you get six of those. They all open up. It is so amazing and then we get to one of the most amazing features of this set is not only of course the weapon racks the weapon stands and let's take a quick peek at the shield here you do get a shield which matches the heraldry on the armor if you wanted to keep that theming going and then of course on the back side oh yeah it's painted back there too handles on the shield that is absolutely excellent all right, so apart from that, look at, well, let's, hold on. I know, I keep getting ahead of myself. But let's take a peek at these. So what do they call these officially anyways? A couple chamber pots. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Is there actually something in there? I don't know if that's just like a piece of flash or something. Or someone dropped their ring in the chamber pot. But you get two of these. And I mean, compared to like my pinky nail, look how tiny these are. Oh my gosh, that's awesome that those were even included. But this, folks, this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Keep it together, Rick. Look at all of the, just the scatter weapons. Are you kidding me? You get three bows and each bow, you can see the handle is painted. Three bows. Let's back it up just a touch. Okay, spears. All of these spears, that is just freaking awesome. Halberds. At least I assume they're halberds. Yep, halberds. Swords. 
Oh my gosh. This is awesome. So if you're in a dungeon, can you imagine how cool it would actually be to have an adventurer or whatever game you're playing that maybe has the ability to, you know, have go out and actually find weapons that you can then pick up and use with your character to actually have those weapons. And I know I've seen another video on this where they try to put the weapons in the rack and they all fall down. But yeah, so there you have it. I mean, the weapons absolutely fit in the rack. They are a little touchy. They're so small and light. They're going to fall out potentially. But the, just the fact that that's something you can actually do is so cool and you can just walk into a room was there a battle here oh i don't know maybe the benches are all strewn apart and there's weapons laying all over the place how amazing is that here is a whiz kids cut purse just for scale let's look at some of this and one other thing you could absolutely do is if you wanted him to be carrying oh my gosh i'm so far away okay if you wanted him to have Maybe a spear instead of that. I mean, the weapons are to scale. Look at this. So, you know, do your modifications. Do your, what is it called? Like, you know, when you have your figures and you do some different things with them, you could cut that sword he has off there and give him a cooler sword. Maybe stick a bow in his other hand. Would that not be amazing? Strap it onto his back. Put, you know, do whatever you want to do. It is unbelievable. This is set. This is just one of the sets. There he is next to the bunk. He's basically just a 28 millimeter pre-painted WizKids figure. Oh, yeah. We love WizKids here. And next to the bunk bed. Looks awesome next to the armor. Oh yeah, looks like it's perfectly scaled next to the archery target. More importantly, how do we get this to focus? Next to the practice dummy. That's the real thing right there. Oh yeah, you can just see him right now going at this guy with everything he's got. Okay folks, that is enough for me from for now. I'm losing my mind. I have two more of these. I cannot wait to incorporate this into my fantasy settings. This is everything. Thank you, WizKids, so much for coming out with this new line of 4D settings. Believe me, I am all over all the upcoming releases. All the way to next May and June. Folks, if you want to sneak peek at something, look up WizKids Warlock tiles. Oh yeah, that's right. A full dungeon line. They already have expansion sets coming out. So fantastic. I am so hyped. Thank you all so much for watching as always. And until next time.